What is wrong with your boots? Blisters, hot spots, foot sliding around in there. I have found the answer to those problems and it's so much cheaper and simpler than you probably think. Let's go. What's up guys, it's Eric from Late to the Game Outdoors, and today we're talking about your feet. With Pet Egg, the callus skin stays inside the egg, so you can use it anywhere without the mess. Then just toss it in the trash. No, nope, not like in a weird way, but if you're a hunter or a hiker, if you spend any amount of time putting miles on your feet with a pack on your back, your feet are literally the most important thing you can take care of out there. Seriously, you can suffer through a lot of misery on a long hike, but if your feet are hurting, it'll straight up ruin your day. Personally, it took me a lot of trial and error to find the right kind of boot setup. My foot is a 14 narrow. You heard that right. Size 14. You know, the size that no one ever carries in a store and is reserved typically only for Sasquatches. But it's not a proportional 14 because it's a very long, skinny, what they call low volume foot. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. I have found two companies on this earth that make a specific 14 narrow because no one else on the planet has that size foot. And even then, sometimes the narrow ends up being too narrow and you end up losing the feeling in your big toes for maybe a couple of months. But I digress. I started to figure it out by finding a company that tends to run a bit narrow even in their normal size. I've had great luck with Crispy, personally. And then I stuff an extra insole in there to take up a bit of that extra room and finally, making sure I had a good quality sock on my foot. That combination got me somewhere around 80% there. It wasn't perfect, I'd still run into some issues on a long or particularly rocky hike, but it was a vast improvement to just slapping some old Cabela's brand boots on my feet and then hitting the trail. Then I found them. The secret ingredient, the long lost piece to my weird foot puzzle, lock laces. Okay, these guys have actually been around for a while, and they have a pretty good name for themselves in the running fitness world, uh, but they've recently been breaking into the hiking world by offering boot length laces. So, they came across my radar and I figured, why not? Let's give them a whirl. I swapped them onto my well-worn crispies, loaded up a day pack and my rifle, and went on an eight mile hike through some rugged canyons looking for bears. Holy crap. Immediately, I could feel a difference in how the boot was working with my foot. Somehow, and I realize this will sound oxymoronic, What did you call me? It felt like the boot was more firmly anchored to my foot and also more flexible. Like it stayed in place perfectly, but without the overly tight spots that would usually fight me all day across like the arch and the ankle joint of my boot. Eight miles and a couple thousand feet of elevation later, I got back to the truck, popped off my boots, and I had no hot spots. None of the aches or the usual exhaustion that I'd feel in my feet after a hike that long. Well, of course, I was tired, but my feet felt disproportionately better than they've ever felt after a long desert hike. Now, I don't get any money from the good people over at Lock Laces. I just love sharing great gear when I find it. And the cost-benefit ratio on these things is absurd. A pair of these suckers is $9 over on their website. You can grab a three-pack for $20. And $9 to revolutionize a pair of boots and make your feet happier than they've ever been? It's a no-brainer in my book. So, in case you were curious, here's the quick how-to section on these guys. Obviously, remove the original laces from your boots, then replace them with the lock laces. Once you've threaded them through the eyelets, put them on your foot, slide the clamp down over the two ends, and tighten your boots like you normally would. Now that they're on, take a few steps, make sure you like the feel, then cut off the ends long enough that they'll tuck under the laces further down above like the toe box of your boot. You install a provided clip and you're done. Simple enough. I've had no durability issues and with the little bit of elastic give that these things provide, it's what really seems to make the difference. You can cinch your boots down nice and tight, but as you walk, they'll allow just a little bit of flex that helps keep your boots from fighting with your foot it makes it feel like they're kind of working together. Yes, you'll save a little bit of time tying and untying your boots, but that's honestly not the real benefit with these things. If you're having issues with your feet, 
it might be worth the $9 to see if these suckers can help before you go dropping a few hundred on a totally new pair of boots. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe right down here. And if you want to see another gear video, go ahead and check this one out. And to see all that gear in use on a hunt, why not go ahead and check that one out? Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.